This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here at Skeletor Park to fish with some gulp minnows and see if I can find yellow bass, bluegill, sunfish, anything. Let's see what happens. Well, it looks like someone abandoned their broken fishing rod. And also their old crappy tackle box with a bunch of dirty grubs. Maybe someone pulled this out of the water, I don't know. It's kind of in my way though, so I'm just going to move it over here. Maybe someone will want that, I have no idea. Let's get a gulp minnow on the hook. No, I just started just my first cast. fish. What do we got? Feels like a good fighter. Feels like a good fighter. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. Yellow bass. That's a nice one too. That would be a keeper. Let's see if I can get a good look at them. Nice big yellow bass here. These guys are really spiny really spiny. I'm just trying to get them to lay down in my hand. Nice. It's like a 9 to 10 inch yellow bass right here. That's exactly what I was hoping for. All right, let's let him go. Hello, this is John in the UK. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Let's get it back out there. See if we can get another one. I think I got another one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's a bluegill this time. Nice big bluegill here. Wow. Jumbo. Let's get a good look at this one. Nice eight inch bluegill here. Maybe even a little bit bigger than eight inches. Eight and a half. That's a really nice bluegill. Got them down there in that same area as the yellow bass. Gulp minnow, getting it done today. Let's work our way this way, see if we can get a bite or two. Fish. Something small. Something small. What do we got? Hey, another yellow bass. Not as big as that last one. Spiny guy. They got all sorts of sharp stuff on them that can stab you. I'll take that back. So they got a sharp gill plate right there. That's really sharp. And those fins, look at that razor sharp. You got to be pretty careful when you're handling these guys. Yeah, look at that. I didn't even feel it. I'm bleeding. 
All right, we got one over here. Hi, I'm John from Northern Grit, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. There's a fish. What do we got? Feels like a good fight. Yellow bass, I'm guessing. All right, that's a nice size yellow bass right here. See how he's flaring them gills out, trying to stab me. Let's get a look at this one. It's about a nine inch yellow bass jumped out of my hand stabbed me on the way down ouch well y'all saw him he was about a nine and a half inch yellow bass jumped out of my hand stabbed me on the way down i'm still bleeding good fish though he's just doing what he has to Let's see if we can get another one once I get my bait fixed up. All right, that's four fish so far. I'm doing all right. Not great, but all right. Got him, another fish. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, it just came off. I saw the flash. It was a yellow bass. Ow. This one aches. Stabbed me deep. Yeah, look at that, still bleeding. Yeah, I ain't messing around when I say those are dangerous spikes. Ouch. Hey guys, it's Cynthia the Fishing Mommy from The Fishing Family. You're watching Realistic Fishing. And you've got to listen to mom when I say, keep it realistic.
fish on. Let's land this one. Let's land this one. All right. Another yellow bass. Don't stab me, bro. Yeah, about the same size as that last one. I'm holding this one a little bit tighter though, so it doesn't jump out of my hands and stab me. Got about a nine incher here, maybe a little more. Good fish. Come on, one more. There we go, there's another fish. Feels like a good fighter. Probably another yellow bass. Exactly. Another nine inch yellow bass here. Kind of holding them a little tighter so they don't jump out of my hand. Good fish. Vance here from Fishing with Vance. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Well, that's all she wrote. I'm glad I tried over here off the dock because I got a few more. Well, I had a good time out here today. I wouldn't say the yellow bass are stacked in there, but they're starting to creep in and I got a good handful of them, plus a pretty nice bluegill. I think I'm going to come back here and try again pretty soon because I think I can catch even more yellow bass. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.